Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is a Gainsborough shower. Uh, the cover's been taken off. I found it in a skip, as I usually do. There was a little cover plate on here hiding a screw. Uh, it doesn't have a name on it other than Gainsborough that I can see. And inside was this plastic plug and, it, and some little um, plastic things held on with tape, which you wouldn't normally see. Depends on the installer, I guess. It only has an on-off button, or a button and a knob. It doesn't have anything else. It's an electric shower. I presume things are going to get wet here. I was looking at it and I kind of thought this is a bit simple and complicated. So water comes in, and there's two options from above or below. It's dribbling out there. Um, so there's a little plug that you can plug the inlet or outlet with. Um, it's not in far enough there, but that's got a little plug in there. That's how I recognize that. This is the on off button and if you see it needs to be pressed in a special way so you can't press it accidentally when it's open with your thumb you have to press corners i guess you could do it accidentally and then this is the knob and that's the flow control i'm guessing single contained unit gainsborough uh earth cable and then the live and the neutral incomers are here and here so you've got n down in there if you can just see N and L underneath that yellow cable. Everything else is just fixed. Just is what it is. So I'm just going to take it apart, see what I think as I go, see what we can see. I need a Phillips screwdriver. And I'll scrap out the copper. It's not going to do it. And I'll scrap out the copper as I go because there's a little bit of copper I can see. We'll just wind up with a big wet pile of screws, nuts, and bolts at the end. Could use a battery drill. I might change to a battery drill as I go. This one might do this size here. Yeah. It's a plastic cover. Terminals, um, this one, strip connector there, those are brass inside, oftentimes with a bit of chrome on them, if you want to dig them out, I don't, don't want to do that. Um, so water comes in here, goes in here, there's some kind of a flow regulator here, comes into the bottom of a boiler presumably, then there's a pipe at the coming up to the top or something, and then bring the, brings the water out here. I uh, don't understand how the on-off switch works, so hopefully we'll figure that out. It doesn't appear to be electrical, but somehow there are two micro switches here, so there's something going on actually, now that I say that. Oh, I pulled that out. That was just a dead end cable actually, quite strange. That was just covered off there, coming from the neutral. It has two elements, two micro switches, and it has this little spring arrangement here. So there must be something to turn on, some pressure thing to turn on those micro switches. Yeah, okay. Now if I can figure out how that works, it's a different thing. Now when it says here, there's an inlet filter on the end in here. Get in and look at that. And then it's saying, so it must, you must have to take the cables in. Do not strip outer insulation of cable below the bottom line here for cable. Strip back, blah, 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 two lines above. Yeah, so that's helping. Is there any it's got a different screwdriver on the case. That looks better. There we go. I think the other one's just blunt. This isn't going to go back together. It came from a skip from a bathroom refurb by the looks of things. So it probably works, which is just the way the world is these days. I don't like it, chuck it out. So I'm just going to go around taking out all the screws I can see. Uh, recently I did a video of a shower that had a heat sink internally. What does this say? Product will only function correctly with the shower hose and handset provided. Okay. Um, I did a video of a 
shower with a electronic solid state switch for the element. It had three or four solid state switches and they were fitted to a little piece of cast bronze, I think, with, um, let's see if that comes off, it does, there's a spring there and it's attached to something as well. Oh, okay. So that, uh, push that in, goes click, oh and it rotates, okay, so it rotates and it pulls, it pulls on a little probe inside doesn't seem to do anything with those micro switches not yet anyway what was I talking about thermal switch no solid state switches and the solid state switches had a water cooled effect but the point I'm making is it was all a single unit kind of all screwed together rather than the Triton Myra style of having loads of individual components that you can kind of service in situ. This one, you couldn't do this with the shower fitted to the wall. What I'm doing here, you'd, you would have to take it off. Let's take off that outlet. You'd have to take it off the wall to start doing this level of dismantling, which makes me think that uh, like there's a thermal cutout in there, an overheating thermal cutout. You probably can't do that with it on the wall, so you've got to take it apart. Maybe you can. I can be. I can be wrong on these things. But yeah, they're going more and more towards these kind of sealed units. I think in here is going to be the interesting bit. If we can get it open. Four screws. A bizarre mixture of big and small. Posy and Phillips. And loads of them. You can see the pile there. No, you can't. You can see the pile of screws there getting bigger as we go. Looks like 15 or 20 so far. Now, let's see. Pull that out. O-ring seals. Oh dear. Yeah, so when I turn that knob, you can see those two little guys in here go up and down. So that is some kind of a flow regulator. But it still has no effect on that micro switch yet. Very fancy. So take off this water inlet. We haven't had a look at that filter actually. We'll get these screws out first. That's not too bad. Okay, that's the inlet. Right. Nothing much to see there. That is just the housing and then there's this filter in here. That's according to the label. Wow, it's a little kind of basket filter. Okay, that is what it is. Uh, this, uh, at the risk of Making an awful mess here. So there's a little bellows there. That's a little rubber bellows full of water. And it's got a spring in behind it. And there's something, the white thing up on top there is drip, dripping away. The white thing up here is connected to that. So it must be something with that bellows pressurizes when you turn it on and pulls on a micro switch. Otherwise, well, it could be anything else, but I can't see. See what's going on there. Let's get a cloth down here because I don't want to make too much mess. All right, and then you turn this, it lets the flow in and out. Okay. What more screws can I take out? This looks like it might just snap off, actually. Yeah. Now that's screwed on there. One little screw.
So, one switch does the two elements. They're both switched on. I'm guessing maybe this is a thing to have a different arrangement with one element rather than two. So when the water comes on, it goes straight to full power two elements. That's that's what it looks like to me. Okay. So that bellows... What would it do? Oh, it looks like there's something above that. I wonder. Let's get a bit further in and we'll ponder it a bit more. Well, that I can't get to the screw now. There it is. Yeah, so it looks like the water pressure turns on the micro switches. Which is kind of a good feature because if you haven't got water pressure, instead of having that low flow thing where your water, you can hear it, um, it has a little flag on some of them. And sometimes there's no low flow feature and it just, you hear it starting to boil inside because it's not coming through on older ones. Um, it means that can't happen. Now, that one's out. Now there's one. That one's out. Let's get these out while we're here. We can deal with this end of the stuff. So get this, I think this was the live incomer. Not a bolt to hold it on, a bit of copper. And this is the, no maybe this was the live on this side, I can't remember. Yeah, the live goes to the thermal switch normally. Okay. That snap off that spring, and then that pulls off. So this is it, that spring pulls on double micro switch. And it's as simple as that. A bit of brass up there, a little brass bus bar. And this one, it's got the earth on the top cap of the copper boiler. And that's your thermal cutout. Brass and copper, brass and copper. Now it's this little. So, there's something, there's nothing physical moving in here that I can see yet. Oh, here we go. Okay, so there's your copper coils, copper element, and on this bit, got an O-ring seal, a couple of torque screws there, probably stainless, I would hope. Little tiny rack and pinion riser there, look. Let's see if I can get in here. It doesn't, I don't think it's any more complicated than, than it seems. It just seems to have a bit of hair or something stuck in it, look at that. So no, don't know. Okay, so that's just a, th a flow director to take the outlet from the top. Outflow water from the top. So turning the pressure regulator lifts up and pushes down two separate little dealies. That's probably a pressure release valve, I would imagine. I think that's that's what that is. I'm not sure we're going to see much here. Oops, it's a spring in it. Yeah, it feels like that. A spring and some O-ring seals. Probably stainless again. Yeah. So up and down. Now we can't yet figure out what is driving this one. So up and down there, that lets the flow in and out. Something here. What is making this pull down? And how to get in there? Could 
Excuse my friend the hammer. It doesn't feel like... That's strange, isn't it? Doesn't unscrew. I don't know. There's something with a little gauze in there. I wonder if it's a little welded unit that this inner surface is separate to the outer surface. I have a feeling that's that's what's going on there. I can't really see any weld marks or anything though. That's what's weird. So there's a little o-ring and a gauze in here. O-ring. A little gauze, like how would you even get that out without wrecking everything? How would you? Let's try. That's how you do it. It's easier if we show it to you like this. It doesn't want to come out. Yes, it's a tiny, tiny filter, okay. Something in here. Yeah, there's something going on there, and I think the saw is the only way to figure out what it is. Let's screw out. There's a bit of a splined end on it. And this should push through like that. And that's those plugs then, those flow flow regulator plugs. Still can't see what's in here. Feels like there might be another bellows in there or something. There's a spring. But that had to be put in there somehow. That just breaks off, that's just plastic, so it's not. I thought it might be a guide or something for that. I'm gonna cut it with a saw. line there let's see now if I can break in here this kind of goes through your hand oh yeah there's something in there look at that something white how did that get in there okay I'm gonna go and put in the vise and just cut the whole bottom off it there we go let's see if we can see any more now oh snap So, no, not yet. What is this bit here that's... Let's take another cut, I guess. One more. All right. Now, a spring popped out whenever I sawed it. Whoops. Yeah, okay, so there is something... Plastic ring within a plastic ring. So this is some kind of a plug pushed in or something. And that was a spring for this little diaphragm that has a plastic side that I cut through, I guess, or damaged anyways. 
but it's just um i guess positive on or positive off it has to be it's the remainder of the spring so pressure valve turn it on and off flow regulator just regulates the flow and that gives you the temperature of the water as usual uh, water more water okay and wires let's cut them off even though very little in, in terms of wire in this machine that looks like it's galvanized but uh, yeah it's not brass it's like zinc or something maybe brass studs in the copper top copper boiler to get that out I'm gonna have to poke these off there's a cat outside talking you can hear Brute force is the way. Just watching you don't push so much that you push through your fingers. Quite a hefty amount of copper in here. A big machine will come down and clamp these things together. But it's left up to you and me to pull them apart. Right. Quite a weight in that. That's just plastic for the bin. But that's that goes as copper elements because there's a stainless or some kind of an, an electrode run through it. Uh, can we split it out? Yeah, you can see there's two separate ones there. So if I push a pull them like that, you can see this one goes in, coils around, it comes out here. And this one goes in, coils around, it comes out here. Probably nothing wrong with that. I've damaged there's a silicone seal there. It's damaged now. Let's see if I can cut these guys. They're probably quite hmm, not so bad. They're just some kind of steel or something, I'd say. 14 or 9.5 kilowatts. So that's like three kettles in one. A kettle's about three kilowatts. So that's quite quite a lot of electricity going in there. Just doing this for development, there's no point really. Yeah, so there's some kind of like ceramic in there. Maybe it's not, maybe those are just end caps. It's normally some kind of, yeah, it's ceramic, some kind of dust. It's just probably capping off the ends and there's some kind of dust all the way through it that keeps the electrode away from the outside of the copper otherwise it would just earth and stop working okay unknown well let's just have one last look there was some words on it product type i think that's the boiler product and the boiler serial number not the shower itself so it doesn't help me if you know what type of shower it is tell us in the comments uh, questions or comments leave them below Thanks for watching. See you later.